Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the Tonebridge Guitar Effects app in GarageBand. Tap on the App Store app icon. Tap on Search, and tap in Guitar Effects. Then tap on Get on the Tonebridge app to install it. Then swipe up the screen to hide the App Store app. Now connect your guitar to your iPhone or iPad. Check out my video on how to connect a guitar to your iPhone or iPad if you don't know how to do it. Now tap on the Tonebridge app icon. Click on Ask App Not to Track, then click on Catalog. Here I will click on the Three Doors Down folder, then click on the Here Without You FX preset. I don't have a Bluetooth pedal, so I will click on Don't Allow. Then click on Allow on the Access the Mic pop-up message. You can drag the dot on the effect line to adjust the amount of FX. and drag the dot on the noise gate line to control the amount of input noise. Click on Edit to adjust input and output gain. Swipe across the dots below the noise gate line and drag the dot on the volume line to adjust the volume. Tap on the pedal button icon to turn the effects on or off. Swipe up the screen to hide the Tonebridge app. Now press on the GarageBand app icon and tap on Create New Tracks Song. Then tap on the Clean Guitar icon. Tap on the Mixer icon. Tap on the Plugins and EQ. Tap on Edit. Tap on the Plus icon. Tap on Audio Unit Extensions. Then tap on Tonebridge. Now tap on Tonebridge. Here you can adjust the effect and volume. Then tap on Done. Then tap on the Mixer icon. Tap on the Record button to record your guitar. Then tap on the Stop button to stop recording. Tap on the play button to hear your recording. The GarageBand guitar amp and effects don't appear to work when the Tonebridge effects are on.
to change the Tone Bridge effects preset, tap on Edit. Then tap on the minus icon. Then tap on Delete. Swipe up the screen to hide the GarageBand app. Tap on the Tone Bridge app icon. Tap on the back arrow. Tap on the back arrow again. Then select a different effects preset. Now swipe up the screen to hide the Tone Bridge app. Then tap on the GarageBand app icon. Now tap on the plus icon. Tap on Audio Unit Extensions. And tap on Tone Bridge. Do be aware, GarageBand records the guitar without effects. So if you change the Tone Bridge effects preset, the new effects preset will be applied to your guitar recording. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.